How important was it to kind of crank up that defensive pressure and get out of the corner? Yeah, uh, that was something coming into the game that we knew that we had to do, and especially at halftime, I feel like we, we didn't get after them as, as much as we wanted, put enough pressure, and coming out of that second half, I feel like we, we definitely left a mark on him, got after him, got a couple hits on him. Being a part of the 2022 team that lost to Tulane, does this one kind of feel like a sigh of relief? Yeah, absolutely. There's there's definitely a little chip on our shoulder, and that's something we talked about last night in our captain's meeting. Uh, they came into our house in 2020, 2022 and kind of shut us up, and to be able to come here and, and do the same to them is definitely felt nice. How many changes did you guys make in halftime? Um, we made some changes. It was really, we were just beating ourselves. Uh, is K State was being K State, and, and if we don't make those errors and everyone does their job, uh, we're a real tough team to beat, and that's something that, that we were preaching at, at halftime. And man, we had a bunch of leaders on the whole team O line, safeties, uh, D line, linebackers, um, everywhere. It wasn't just one guy in that in that locker room at halftime that was saying something, um, and that really shows to, to our culture. And uh, I think we came out in that second half and really made some changes and got after him.